A nonprofit organization based out of Clearfield County is helping to connect kinship families with services available in the community around them since being first established as a 501c3. Uh, now, the organization came together this past January. Rest Incorporated has provided aid to more than 25 families as the organization nears its one year anniversary. Ariani Trigella spoke with the founder and a family impacted by their services. He joins us live now in Clearfield County. So Yanni, can you tell us a little bit more about this organization? Good evening, Matt. Almost 300,000 children in Pennsylvania are raised in kinship homes. Now, this can be a challenge on grandparents or other relatives who have to assume the responsibility of caring for these kids, which is why the nonprofit organization REST. It aims to help these families navigate their way through life and give them support. It all starts with a phone call. I'm a grandparent, um, and I'd like to know what what you know, Russ can do and help me with. The nonprofit offers services like educational and financial assistance, peer support programs, and more to families in Blair, Clearfield, and Jefferson counties. Expose them to services and supports that are out there that, based on the assessment, sounds like could be of help to them. In its first year, REST has provided family specific case management to more than 25 families. And for one Clearfield family, those services may have changed their grandson's life. It was the first step in, in healing. It was, it was amazing. Um. Cindy Schimmel's grandson was born on a Saturday in February. And by Monday, her and her husband, both teachers in the Clearfield Area School District, were forced to take custody of the newborn. Since joining REST, they've received help with clothing for their grandson, as well as assistance with buying diapers and other items needed. It was support um, came to a group that, that was able to um, have an understanding of what we were going through um, and, and hope, hope that, you know, we can pull this all together. We want to do what's best for that family and help that family meet the goals that they set for themselves, for the children, and for every person in that family um, and help make it happen. All but one of the children involved in REST come from substance use homes. We get these children because of a situation that they are, you know, living in or born into. But with services like kinship support groups and help in day-to-day -day life, these families can help to make that situation better. We're looking at being proactive with our children's needs um, as they grow and develop um, with educational pieces that, that we can sit and discuss together. Now, Johnson, she adds that she does plan to continue expanding the uh, REST Incorporated as the years go on. And they're already starting that expansion, having partnered with the Dickinson Family uh, Law Group at Penn State, where students at Penn State uh, in the uh, law clinic, they will be partnering up with some of these grandparents, offering them some tips on uh, grandparent custodial support, and also uh, sort of giving them some pointers uh, what to expect as they go into custodial hearings. In Dubois, Yanni Trigellis, WTAJ News.